one of the most clutch fourth quarters we could have had to the most unclutch overtime you can have. This was bad. This is real bad. Arizona Cardinals, 30-24 to over the Dallas Cowboys. All, all, hey, all congratulations go to the Cardinals. They came to play. And, and Kurt Warner, I was impressed with him the whole game. You know, we stopped him at the first, but he never wavered, never got rattled, and he kept his eyes down the field, throwing it to an amazing wide receiver in, in Fitzgerald who just caught everything thrown to him. You know, down by 10 in the fourth quarter, and then Barber just breaks that awesome. And, he, and Barber played great. You know, he didn't get the big runs that he, that he needed a lot of times, but he broke them when he had to. And I love the effort on his part. And he got that touchdown. Defense was clutch, stopping him in three downs. We get the ball back. And then Romo and the guys wake up and gives downfield. And Nick Falk, the reason we pay him his money, the reason he goes to the Pro Bowl, makes a 52-yard field goal to send it into overtime. Not only that, but T.O. calls heads on the coin toss. And it's right. So there's another clutch play by the Dallas Cowboys. Then we get the ball. First play from scrimmage, Romo, he fumbled, actually. And it was weird because I had never seen Oh, wait, I had seen him fumble before because he fumbled about two or three, four, time, or four times before that. Some of that had to do with the offensive line, but a lot of that had to do with him not holding on to the ball. So he gets back on it. That was clutch, I guess. Six-yard loss, puts us in a hole. Two terrible passes later, we're punting. On the punt, we let two guys through who block it and take it in for the touchdown. You know, Cowboys fans, a lot of y'all last week were, were, didn't like my video and a lot of other Cowboys fans' video uh, being displeased with the level of play Dallas has been, been doing every week, uh, especially last week against the Bengals. And everyone kept writing, no win's a win, that's all that matters, that's all that matters. This is what I'm talking about. Do you understand? This is what I'm talking about. I don't care about win-loss margins. I don't care if we beat a team by one point that maybe we should have won or something like that. Like the Lions game last year. We didn't play well, but at the end we dug deep and we came and went, won. Against the Bengals last week, we were up 17 to nothing and we let them back in the game. There's a difference there. And this week it caught up with us because Arizona is not a trash team. They don't belong on the field with us, or I thought so. Apparently I'm wrong about that. But this is a team that's been putting up offensive numbers like crazy. And our defense, for the most part, at times played real well, especially in the first half. They couldn't do anything on offense in the first half. And then what turned the game around for Arizona was on 3rd and 17. We got a tip pass, and they caught it and took it 17 yards for the first down. They took that drive, touchdown, 14-14, and from then on, the Cardinals took care of the game. This, this is what I'm talking about. All you Cowboys fans that keep saying, don't rag on the team, don't blah, 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 blah. Keep you. Look, I love this team. This is my team. I've been repping this star ever since I was born. But also with other things that you love, you don't always baby them or, or try to you know, say everything's going to be okay and rah-rah all the time. Did your parents only take you to Six Flags and feed you Snickers bars? Okay, you got to kick, kick them in the butt a couple times if you want them to do well or you actually care about what happens. I know I don't have any emphasis on the game, but I'm saying what it, what it is. I, I still have faith in this team. I still think this team is good enough to go to the Super Bowl. I think they're good enough to make it to the playoffs and win some games. But being good enough doesn't really mean that you're going to do it. They've got to show something. And if th this game, even though the Cardinals are a pretty good team, this is a game we should have won. We have too hard of a schedule to lose games we're supposed to win. And this was one today. We've got at St. Louis next week. Well, they just beat Washington in Washington. So we better not come in there thinking that they're a JV team and just roll with, roll it over them. We should roll over them, but eh. So, no, I, I'm, I'm just glad the Longhorns beat Oklahoma yesterday because I would just be incredibly mad right now. But, eh, the Cowboys, I, I don't know. The Cowboys really, really need to step up. This was not good. This doesn't help us at all. Yeah, it's only two losses, but have you seen the other teams in the division? We're going to need to play a little bit better if we're going to contend with them. We, we were front runners for the season, and, I mean, they showed hard at the end. I, I'll give the Cowboys credit. We showed hard in the fourth quarter, down by 10 and just pounding away and getting the game tied. But then we went into the fourth quarter, I mean, in the overtime, and, and did nothing. 
Like, nothing. We got the ball. If you get the ball in overtime, you're supposed to win. Or at least get a first down. Defense played well at time, most of the time. Gave us some good plays. Warner got in a rhythm. Him and Fitzgerald, that, that's a good tandem. But offense. If you want to be one of the top offenses, you can't just score. I mean, we got three touchdowns. I mean, Rumble had three touchdown passes. But there's got to be more consistency, and there wasn't tonight. Arizona Cardinals beat us at St. Louis next week. I, I, I intend on the Cowboys winning that game. But if we play like this, we probably won't. Always another week, I guess. Go Cowboys!